What's going on guys, it's Des again and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we're going to look at the five top reasons to join the Army Reserves. Let's get into it. Number one, you can do it part time. So one of the benefits of being an Army Reserves is you have the opportunity to carry out military training on a part time basis, whether it's up on a parade night at your unit or when you're away in the field with your unit. So there are different um, types of training and courses that you can do on a part-time basis. You can do your basic training, your BMQ and your BMQ LAN on a part-time basis. You can also uh, do some career courses, whether it's your military driver's license, your first aid. Uh, if you're an armored unit, you might be doing your uh, remote weapons suite type training. So there's lots of opportunities uh, that you can do a lot of training on a part-time basis. You can also do distant learning part-time. Number two, training. So as an army reservist, depends on what unit you're, you're with, you can do various different, various different types of training that's available to you. If you're in an armored reconnaissance unit, well then you, if you're a driver, you're gonna do some of your driving training at your unit. Uh, if you're uh, working the weapon system in, in one of the vehicles, and you'll get a lot of training like that. If you're engineers, you're gonna work on all the engineer type and related tasks. Infantry, you're gonna do you know, your infantry type training. You'll also get opportunities to do uh, training with the regular force, whether it's a few days or a few weeks or a few months, the opportunities are there for army reservists. And I always encourage members, especially from my unit, to get take the opportunity to go and train with the regular force because you're gonna learn a lot of new skill sets that we normally don't do in the army reserves. Number three, opportunities to deploy. So one of the benefits of being an Army Reservist is that you have the opportunity to deploy with the regular force overseas. And as an Army Reservist, we bring uh, various, various types of skill sets that the regular force counterparts do not have. Now, if you want to deploy overseas as an Army Reservist, you must be in good standing with your unit. That means you have your attendance and your parade nights and your weekends has to be very good. You also have to show drive, initiative, motivation, um, grab as many courses as you can. So when you do apply, your unit looks looks at you and they'll open up. It's just like a resume, you know, all the skills and stuff that you collected over time. Um, they're going to look at that and say, yeah, this is the type of the candidate we want to send uh, to work with the regular force. So there are lots of opportunities as a reservist to deploy overseas. Number four. Okay, pay and benefits. So the Army Reserves is considered a part-time job, right? So if you want to earn more money, you're going to attend more parade nights and you're going to attend more uh, weekend type trainings. Now, it doesn't mean you have to attend every parade night or every weekend because the minimum requirement for an Army Reserves is one night a week, right? And one weekend a month and that's it. Now, if you want to make earn more money, there's opportunities to work uh, down at your unit um, on a short-term kind of um, length, uh, right? It depends on your availability and how, how much you want to work, okay? So in the uh, Army Reserves, uh, we get paid twice a month on the 15th and the 30th. So if you work more days, you're going to get more money on the 15th and the 30th. And that's one of the good things about being an Army Reserves. No matter what you're doing, you're always going to get paid. Whether you, whether you're with your unit or you're doing even distant learning, you will get uh, paid. And how pay works is you'll sign in on a pay sheet, the amount of hours that you're allotted to work. The benefits that are available to you as an Army Reservist is your medical and your dental. So when you submit a receipt from your, say your doctor or your dentist, the army will give you back your money at 100%. So that's one of the really cool things I like about the um, army reserves is yes, you have to you know pay for it, but then you get reimbursed your money back. Other opportunities and benefits that are available is the pension plan. So after about a year or so, okay, you can um, opt into the pension plan that's offered to army reservists. And you can stay in the army reserves as long as you want, and that's gonna just build up your pension. Now, to build up your pension, you have to uh, put in a lot of hours, right? So that's how the pension system works. The more hours and days you put in, eventually when you d do decide to um, leave the military, um, you can get a pretty good uh, pension package, 
and that depends on the years you've been put you put in. Other benefits that are available to Army Reservists: um, some stores will give you discounts if you're uh, Army Reservist and you have your military ID. Sometimes if you're on the the bus or transit, you know, they, you might not have to pay. I mean, it's happened to me before. Usually around Remembrance Day, that uh, you, you know, that's it's offered to all military members. It's free rides on transit anywhere. And finally, number five, okay, it's pride and pride in your unit, you know, history and stuff like that. So when you become a member of an Army Reserve unit, right, you're very uh, proud of that unit, the traditions that it's held. You're, you're proud of your core, your regiment, and your unit's history. And that's one of the really unique things about being an Army Reserve. actually any, any military member, whether it's regular force or reserve, are proud of their unit's heritage. And their history so that is one of the the best things and there's a there is rivalry and stuff which is really good rivalry because most reserve units have fought in most of the wars together all right so there's always that rivalry you know when you say we did this and you know your unit said well we did that and stuff like that and it's all in in good humor and good fun so that's one of the things that um i find very unique and i really enjoyed is that unit history and the pride and the accomplishments from wars past to present so there it is guys okay those are the five top reasons to join the army reserves i hope you like this video if you are new to my channel welcome please do subscribe below guys make sure you give me that big thumbs up if you like this video please post uh, in the comment section i really enjoy reading your comments and we'll catch you again in the next video